Now, I have built inputs with icons before, but they were missing two things, one of which is quite important. The first thing was, I didn't know how easy it is to change the icon color when the user focused the input. The second, and more important one, I didn't know how to focus the input when the user clicked directly on the icon. Previously, you had to move the cursor a bit to the right and click on the field itself in order to focus it. Anyway, let's get started. I will add a form element with an input and then change this justify and class to justify between so that the form gets pushed to the left and this drop down menu stays on the right. The input name will be search, the placeholder will be search talk, autocomplete will be turned off and we're going to label it search talk. To style it, we'll do class px3, py2 for padding, font semibold to make the text thicker, placeholder gray 500, text black, rounded 2xl to make it rounded, I'll disable the border using border none, and then use ring 2, ring gray 300, and on focus we'll do focus ring gray 500 and focus ring 2. So this will be our basic input. For the icons, I mostly use hero icons, which comes with an npm package you can install. So I'll do just that. Open the terminal and run npm install at hero icons slash view. Now I can import the icon I want to use. In this case, I want import search icon from at hero icons slash view slash outline and then register it and use it just like I'd use a regular component. So here I can just say search icon and give it a class with 5h5. In order to place the icon over the input element, we'll have to position it as an absolute element, but that also means we'll need a relative wrapper to keep it from floating around all over the screen. So let's wrap these two elements into a div and say class relative. And then for the search icon, we have with 5h5 absolute, and then give it some margin left, say ML3. Now to center the icon vertically, we can use flex on the wrapper. So here we'll say flex item center. And since we are here, we can set the icon color to text gray 400. And the reason I'm doing this here instead of doing directly on the icon is because we can now use the focus within variant to set the color when a child element is focused. In our case, when the input is focused. So we'll do focus within and then text gray 600. And now when I focus the field, the color of the icon changes. Moving on, let's add some left padding for the input to stop the icon from overlapping the text. So we'll do P right 3 and then PL 10. This will move the text to the right. For the last problem, the input doesn't focus if we click directly on the search icon. We need to click slightly to the right or slightly to the left in order to focus it. To fix that, we can add the pointer events none class on the icon. So we can do pointer events none. And what this does is it tells the browser that this icon should ignore pointer events. It's like the element is not even there. So now if we hover over the input, over the icon, you'll see the text cursor appearing. And when we click, the input gets focused. So that's the only thing we need to do. Finally, let's make the input a bit wider. We can do that by setting width full on the input element, width full on the form element, and then constrain it using max WMD. Also, let's add some spacing between the search input and the menu dropdown. And we can do that either by setting uh, individual margin classes for both elements 
or by using a space utility on their parent. I prefer the latter, so we'll do space x6. Save, and here it is. That was it. That's how you can build a proper input with icon using Tailwind CSS. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that good stuff. Bye.